Hey guys, I have another review for you, and today's review is on a Yankee Candle Reed Diffuser. This one is from the Pure Radiance line, and it is in the scent Key Lime. Now, I already talked about this in two separate videos. First, when I put it up in a haul from the first day of the semi-annual sale, and then I also briefly talked about it in my June monthly roundup. So when I first put up this uh, Reed Diffuser in my haul video, a lot of you guys wanted to know what I thought of it. So I figured I would just go ahead and make this separate video. I did get this for 50% off, so I only spent $11. If you were to go into the store right now and buy this exact thing, you wouldn't be able to get it in Key Lime because that scent actually got discontinued and it would cost you $21.99. Now they do have other types of reed diffusers that aren't part of the Pure Radiance line. They have a regular line one, which is a square glass bottle, and I believe that retails for um, $24.99, I believe, or maybe it's also $21.99. It's definitely no more than $25. And then they also have another reed diffuser, which actually has uh, fake flowers as reeds, and that one is definitely $24.99. And they also just sell oil that you can use to make your own reed diffuser along with sticks that you can buy separately. And the um, oil alone is $9.99. So anyway, this is still pretty expensive considering it retails for $22. And personally, I would never spend that much on a reed diffuser. So this is my first time actually buying a reed diffuser, which might be kind of surprising, but I don't really like to uh, have the same scent linger for a really long time, but I figured I would go ahead and give it a chance anyway, just because, you know, this is a scent that I already knew I liked. But I would say that if I was to repurchase this, it would definitely not be in the same scent. So I really do like this scent a lot, and this uh, Reed Diffuser is very, very strong. That, I would say, is a definite bonus. If you don't like candles and you like reed diffusers and oils and you don't want like a lot of flame you know, with candles, I would highly suggest this. But just remember that once you uh, put the wooden sticks in, that you're going to have this scent lingering 24-7 for months. So that's just something you want to think about. And based on that, I think Key Lime was a bad decision. I think if I was to purchase another reed diffuser, it would be something more light, um, you know, nothing so potent like a dessert. I would think Pink Sands would be a really good one or anything that's like a spa type scent just so it doesn't clash with other scents that you end up burning in your house. Um, what else could I say about this? I've only had the reeds in the oil for a little over a month, so I would say that this is not going to last as long as I would like it to for the money, um, you know, but it is really strong, so give or take, if you want something really strong, maybe you should try this out, but if you would rather have it medium uh, strength and last a little bit longer, then maybe this isn't the thing for you. It's really easy to use, though. Um, Pretty much, it just has a, had a little stopper in it. You took off the top, and then you just put the reeds in. So that's super, super easy. So overall, I would say if you're interested in trying out a reed diffuser, I would suggest that you give this a try. Like I said, I personally wouldn't pay $22 for it, but there are a lot of other brands of reed diffusers that you can find at TJ Maxx and Marshalls that are probably all under $10. So I would suggest maybe you try there first. I have seen Yankee um, candle rediffusers at those stores as well. So you might even be able to find one of those. So that is the end of my review. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below and I will be happy to answer them for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.